Hi guys, Stan here. In this video, I will tell you about how I make my trading semi-automatic with the help of Python scripts. I've gotten many responses from my Twitter comment, which I've left behind the post of Steve Burns. He asked his audience whether it's good to have two screens or three screens, or horizontal, vertical, whatever. I've commented that you don't need to have a setup of three screens today unless you're a Goldman Sachs trader or unless you're working in the investment bank. In this video, I will elaborate more on this topic. Let's go. First of all, let me remind you that we are talking today about the systematic trading, whether it's mechanical or discretionary. Well, in this case, we will talk about semi-discretionary trading, when you just pull, um, sell or buy positions with your own hands on the account, but still you have some kind of a rules. Systematic trading, of course, might be completely automatic. And in this case, we refer to that as algorithmic trading. Or it might be discretionary when you have some kind of analysis which is flexible and some execution which is rigid. So in this video, we'll talk about discretionary trading, which is systematic and which might be turned into the algorithm partially, which might save you a lot of time and actually make trading less stressful and actually um, allow you to do something outside of trading, jogging, having a life, <laughs> playing with kids or making something else. Let's go. Usually discretionary traders do not use completely mechanical trading systems. By mechanical trading systems, I mean something like moving average crossover or something similar. When you just follow the rules, you don't think and you follow the rules. Discretionary traders usually don't do that. They make some kind of analysis which combines fundamental and technical analysis, media sentiment, news, anything else or even gut feel in some cases. It's extremely difficult to delegate forecasting to the machine. Because uh, if you have, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 years of trading experience, or you have a holistic understanding of what's going on in the market, starting from the interest rates, then uh, you might have some understanding of seasonal patterns, statistical patterns, and eventually you get the feeling of what's going on, what's the main narrative in the markets. For example, it might be strengthening of American dollar or it might be weakening of cyclical assets such as stock and crypto. So in other words, understanding of a narrative is very difficult to delegate to the machine. So that's a human part. The execution part is somewhat different. Usually it's a situation when the trader sits near the computer screen or three screens like Steve Burns mentioned and searches for low risk entry setups. Uh, we assume here that a trader already has some kind of a trading idea. For example, he or she wants to buy gold or Bitcoin or EURUSD or in a stock. So that means the directional bias which the trader has already and wants to execute the position in the direction of this idea. In this process, you become the operator of your trading system, which is sometimes tedious and uh, takes a lot of your time and it's hardly combined with any other type of activity, for example, the business outside of markets or anything else, traveling, whatever, whatever it is, you name it. In fact, you can delegate a lot of routine actions to the machine so that you can free your time and actually don't sit in front of the screens monitoring for low risk entry setups. For me, that makes a lot of sense because after all, we've come to trading with the, the idea that we will have some kind of freedom, not only money, but also freedom. But uh, eventually, after five or 10 years in trading, traders pretty much understand clearly that it's not about freedom. So it's, it looks pretty much like a day job. So I've decided to make it semi-automatic, which made a lot of sense to me. Here's what I did. For the last two years, I've been collecting statistics for my trading ideas, and I found out that my hit rate was 70% approximately. Well, meaning that out of 100 ideas, 70 of them were closing with a profit, while 30 of them were closing by the stop loss or maybe not going anywhere. That was enough to implement the automatic execution. So I asked my friend PhD in computer science to make a script. He said, hey, Stan, you need to formulate your rules, meaning that when exactly do you enter the position? Where do you place a stop loss? How do you calculate the lot size and so on and so forth? So I did that too and formulated what I call the execution protocol, which describes steps by step how I uh, enter the position. So there is not only one technique with that. I have three techniques for entering the positions, which I will tell you about later. So we made a script that is installed on the server and connects with uh, Binance Futures account via API. For the record, you can make it not only for crypto trading, but you can also connect your script with 
TWS, which is Interactive Brokers Terminal, or OANDA or any other terminal that has API. If you trade with MT4 or MT5, let's say you trade Forex or CFD, so it's a little bit more complex because it doesn't have API, but you can create an expert advisor, which is EA, and it would receive your trading signals and execute on your behalf. So how do I trade? Whenever I want to make a trade, I go to Trading View, where I have my watch list already, and I go uh, step by step uh, through my watch list, and then I select something which feels like a good opportunity to me using combination of my fundamental technical analysis and all other tools that I use for analysis. So let's say I have found anything interesting. I uh, feel that the asset will go higher, so the price will go higher. Then I select the execution technique. There are three of them. One is a breakout tra trading strategy when I simply hit the new high. Whenever market hits the new high or forms a simple candlestick formation, I just enter the position and uh, the stop loss is pretty close to the price action and then uh, it's placed to the break even and then I just uh, manage my position as the position moves in my direction. Another one is a trend following strategy when I place my entry order just at the lower, for example, if I go long for the lower band of the envelope, so Bollinger Bands placing my stop loss outside of a trading range. So that's not for quick profits, but uh, in that case, I accumulate my position in anticipation of being profitable, maybe within a course of two, five days and more. Another one is mean reversion mechanism. When I just uh, make a counter trend trade, just picking the new bottom or the dip, uh, it's good for slow markets when they are not moving, when they are, they are rotating with a tremendous amount of noise. So uh, that's a mean reversion strategy. So as you see on this step, I need to decide what strategy to choose, which is already some kind of discretion, but whatever, we cannot avoid human discretion uh, because we are not algorithmic traders completely in this case. We are just delegating our actions to the machine. So after that, I put my idea into the special Google form, which uh, sends the information directly to the special Google sheet where the idea is stored. I know that's not perfect, but it's the easiest way actually to store the data and to transfer the idea to the algorithm. Then the script takes this idea directly from the Google Sheets and takes this into action. So after that, uh, algorithm or script starts uh, monitoring the market for an entry setup. And when it finds the entry setup, it just enters, places a stop loss, and then boom, so the trade is working and it's just working with this trade, protecting it placing profit targets and uh, making all other steps for executing the positions properly. And in the meantime, I may go do something else like jogging, swimming or making recording videos for you guys. The script is written on Python and Python has the library to build graphs and build statistical data, which we also do in a special dashboard. Here's how it looks like. You see that we have uh, the performance curve, the average hit rate and other statistics, mathematical expectancy, sharp ratio and so on and so forth. That's pretty much it folks. I would not teach you how to program in this video because uh, it won't be possible in one single video, but that's what I do and that's what saves a lot of time uh, when I trade and I believe that you can initiate the same setup too. Whenever you have any questions, put them down the, below the video. I will answer all of your questions if I can do that. And also don't forget to push the like button and subscribe to the channel if you like the video. So see you later. Good luck.